All right, here we go, here we go. Got this. What an epic throwback lick that was. That was actually my first time ever trying to do split screen in a video, and I think it turned out pretty well. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to play the couch lick so you can grab one of your friends and play these epic beats. So I have my best friend in the whole world here today. Come on over, best friend in the world. Yep, I'm my own best friend, and that's totally normal and not weird. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you have no friends, then yeah. Oh, dude. So mean. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. Please accept this handshake as an apology. Okay, I accept your apology. Okay, anyways, first couple of bars here. We got starting with a flam drag into a buzz. Now on that buzz, you're gonna drag your hand to the side and also look to the side. That's how we do it here. Followed by some eighth notes down at piano into a couple of grandmas crescendoing just the left hand. Ending with the rim shot. Okay, then the next bar we got Please, is- I want a chance to talk. You, you went first, now I go. Oh, is, is that how we're doing this? I don't, we didn't really talk about it. Okay, sure, we'll go back and forth. After you, go right ahead. Okay, thank you. Anyways, so, third bar, uh, we have this split rim shot putter to thing. There's like two sets of sticking. Guy number one is the top and guy number two is the bottom. I'm guy number two. Guy number two is the best one, obviously. So my part for this bar goes as such. Yep, and my part goes like this. Pretty simple, but effective. So both parts together should sound like this. Okay, so then we got some split stuff here. We got a triplet roll, starts out unison for two beats. And then we go into a split roll. I play the right hand on the down beats. Remember, I'm guy number one here. And you wanna do this with the hand that's not playing because that looks cool. Trust me, this is cool. Yes, and uh, my part is the upbeats of that roll, which should go like this. Right hand goes up on this side, okay? It'll be cool, I promise. And then we got some of these uh, trading five-lit decrescendos here, all single strokes. Into two's shots, 16th notes. So here we go, let's try that all together. got some fancy stick tricks here all right try to keep up these are tricky so the sticking's pretty simple it's just eighth notes right 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 left 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 right 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 left 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 buzz and with a crossed over buzz so the first trick is this left hand thumb spin you're gonna end with the stick backwards so it's like a one and a half spin so then the left hand plays and the right hand does a side flip you like lift your arm up and the stick flips underneath it. Then the right hand plays and your left hand switches back to regular grip. And then the left hand plays and your right hand does just a standard stick flip. So it should look like this. And on that buzz, you're gonna wanna look to the left because that's badass. And then the last part of that phrase, all you do is crescendo 16th notes while uncrossing your hands in a counterclockwise matter, like this. So that whole thing at tempo will go like this. Very nice, very nice. So now we got more triplet rolls because we love triplet rolls here. So these first two bars, you just got one full bar of roll and then you have some accent tap roll stuff like this. Now 
we go into another split roll. This time it's really, really long. Two whole bars of split roll. And once again, guy number one, I have the downbeats. Guy number two has the upbeats. It's, you know, how come you get all the upbeats? That's not fair. I want to play the upbeats. It's because you're not as good as me, okay? I'm the best one. That means I get the upbeats. What? No. Okay, after we get done this video, we're, we're going to flip the parts because I'm very confident that I can play those upbeats. But anyways, here's those four bars under tempo. Okay, then we get into the meat and potatoes of this lick, as in the choppy parts, all right? This stuff is difficult at tempo. So first bar is not too bad, it's just a bunch of shots. Make sure your shot placement is excellent. If you're playing on a drum pad, it kind of doesn't matter if you miss the shot because it still sounds like it. Sounds exactly the same. Next bar is all flam drags. Next bar after that is all inverted flam taps. Then we have another split bar, all tap five triplet rolls, and then another split shot eighth note bar. So here's this whole part all together. You can tap off, Mr. Downbeat person. Don't call me that, that's derogatory. I don't appreciate that. Then we got some 16th notes all up. First is double stroke roll, then goes into a single stroke roll. Some decrescendo buzzes to the end. Up to there, it goes like this. Pretty simple. Then we got some crazy back sticking and crossover insanity. So first we got endo one. I like to flip my left hand over during that crossover because it looks cooler. Then we go into an inverted roll to come out of that. So we got one E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. On the a, uh, you get left hand back stick. Then we're back to a normal roll. Three E and a, uh, four. Right hand back stick. Now we go back to an inverted roll to come out of this. Four E and a, uh, one E. Left hand crossover, exactly the same way as before. And now we're back to a regular roll coming out of that. E and a, uh, two E. And then single stroke roll all the way up to beat four. And a three E and a, uh, four. Whole thing slowly. And a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. A little bit faster. And a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four. And at tempo. All right, now we're back into some split stuff. Once again, I have the upbeats because I'm the best and coolest and most good looking person on this couch. <laughs> Dude, you're not funny. It's not funny. Okay, anyways, so we got triplets. First two beats are unison. Second two beats are split. Then we got this high mom thing. Now a high mom is when you flip your left hand in traditional grip all the way around like that. So it's basically just two triplets repeating. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. But the accents are offset, so the high mom is split. Then we have split fours, 30 second notes. So all that together goes like this. Wait, oh! I'm supposed to tap off, okay? I'm the section leader of this couch. Okay, fine. Go right ahead. Have fun. Okay, thank you. Jeez. So this crazy, choppy, insane two bars here, start with a rim shot, then you bring your sticks in, and then you hit both sticks together while they're still in, then you bring them back in, you want to make that noise when you bring them back in, it's very important. And then when you bring them out, you want to slice them, all right? Kind of the opposite of what you usually want to do to get that noise. Then you have a triplet buzz roll out to the edge. So the whole thing slowly, we got one, two, three, four, one, two, four. A little faster. Then we got a whole bunch of eighth notes, most of them are split, but it's pretty simple, so we're just gonna skip all that. And then at the end we have this visual, it's a little bit complicated, so it's in time with the rest as written. So on beat three is the left hand passing into the right hand, that is on three when you grab it. The right hand is gonna have to toss a little before that, and then you grab that in the left hand on four. So, and three and four, grab. So then you have your sticks like this, okay? The right hand is backwards, so you're gonna do a half a flip, and this is the beat one, is when your fingers touch it here and you flip it back up again. So one, and then catch it on the end of beat two. Simultaneously on the end of beat two, your left hand 
flips around and comes up, so you're both in match grip. I hope you're following along. And then from here, you hit a rim shot on beat four, and then you can bring your sticks in if you feel like it. I recommend doing that. So this whole visual goes like such. Three, four, one, two, and four. Got it? I can't slow it down anymore because of like, you know, gravity and physics and stuff. But hey, you can slow down the YouTube video down to 50% if you need to. Okay, wonderful. That's the whole couch lick. Let's play through the whole thing at tempo now. Here we go. Nice job. Yeah, man. High five. High five. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one or this one. We will leave those links in the description. And have a good morning.